just a few minutes before the um, top of the hour now as we wrap things up on after the bell the president did touch on a topic i was going to ask you about when you're coming on and that's what's been happening with regards to saudi arabia and these reports surfacing that possibly this columnist was accidentally killed the president touched on that briefly there I know your boss, Secretary Mnuchin, uh, last I heard from our colleague John Roberts at the White House, was still planning a visit to Saudi Arabia. What further update can you give us? Is that still on? That, that's right, Connell. Look, as the president indicated, we all view this as a very concerning and terrible situation. A lot of developments and information will be coming out this week. We will evaluate all of that information and ultimately come to a decision by the end of the week. What I will say is this is part of a six-country trip mm -hmm. that we already were scheduled to take to the Middle East, including Israel, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, and Kuwait. Right. We have the terrorism financing targeting center in Riyadh, which we opened last year. So we're going to make sure Sure that we evaluate all the information before we ultimately decide whether or not we're going to participate in the okay. conference that's also scheduled there at the same time. All right, let me get you, uh, just on a couple of things so I'm clear. As of now, the trip is still on, it sounds like. Yes. Final decision. So, yes, the trip's still on for Secretary Mnuchin. Final decision by the end of the week, meaning that it's being discussed that he might, he still might not go. That's obviously under discussion that, if you're saying that. Th that's correct. Okay. Look, there's going to be information that comes out and developments that come out. We're going right. to evaluate all of them very objectively. All right. Um, if there was to be, uh, the president's uh, used the term punishment to be put in place against Saudi Arabia, as you say, if there were further developments, if more facts come out, and it does turn out that the Saudis maybe were to blame for a killing of this col uh, columnist, those punishments and or sanctions would likely come out of Treasury, right? So are discussions already underway about how to go about this? We, we don't discuss potential and future sanctions actions or telegraph any such actions, Connell. Uh, as you can understand, there's a lot of information that we're potentially learning today. So we're going to have to examine all that throughout the week and ultimately come to an administration-wide decision on whatever mm -hmm. response is most appropriate. What was most important that we learned today that you refer to? I think we haven't learned anything concrete. There are okay. reports coming out um, from other news sources that seem to indicate there's going to be uh, some news coming down. We're interested to hear what that is. I, I can say that the president did speak to the Saudi king this morning. Secretary Pompeo is going to be meeting with the Saudi king uh, as well. We're going to be very interested in hearing how those conversations go. About a minute, Tony, until we hit the top of the hour. And um, David Asman's new program, which is coming on right after us. Let me ask you this. The numbers came out from Treasury today on the deficit. Fiscal year 2018, 779 billion, up more than 100 billion from the year before. I know it's not a lot of time to give you to explain this, but that doesn't sound good. Tell us. Well, listen, we inherited a terrible debt and deficit issue with very low growth at 2%. We've gotten economic growth up to past 3%. That's going to be trillions of dollars of revenue to the federal government. In the short term, with spending, we wanted to make sure the president made a priority to correct the lack of investment into our military that's happened for far too long. Right. We agreed to do that. We had to unfortunately accept other high spending concessions that were forced on us from the Democrats. But we do feel that with the growth and the future spending cuts that we're going to propose, that we will get the deficit back in order. But we have growth back, which is the first time in eight years we could be saying that we're at 4.2 mm -hmm. percent last quarter we plan for three percent sustained that's trillions of dollars yep. Connell to the federal revenue All right. you're getting off a little bit easy on that topic next time you're on <laughs> we'll probably press you a little bit more but uh, Tony good to see you today uh, thanks. thanks for hanging around for us Tony Sag there you go